Good morning, Patriots. Welcome back to Rex Pines TV. I'm Adasa Serka. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Monday, May 22nd, 2023. Now let's take a nice and relaxing brain break. You breathe in through your nose. And then you hold that breath. When he goes down, you breathe out gently through your mouth. And hold again. Great, this time let's do it together. Breathe in. And hold. And then breathe out. And hold again. That was so calming. Now let's see what happened today in history with Alexander. Thank you, Hadassah. Hello, Patriots. Today in history, on May 22, 1980, the worldwide video game Pac-Man was released by Toru Iwatani. In the game Pac-Man, you play as a yellow orb-shaped character that chases colorful ghosts through a maze. The game creator, Toru, was originally going to make the game based around food. But while he was eating a slice of pizza, it resembled Pac-Man's infamous shape. And so the rest is history. To think that a beloved video game was inspired by a random slice of pizza I wonder what other weird foods inspired other games. Now let's check in with Jasmine for today's tasty lunch. Thank you, Alexander. Patriots, today's lunch is mac and cheese, garlic roll, Italian sandwich, baby carrot, green beans, diced peaches, and your choice of milk. And tomorrow's breakfast will be French toast sticks, syrup cup, graham crackers, 100% apple juice, fruit loops, and your choice of milk. Students, please keep in mind the lunch and breakfast can change at any time. It's always been your lunch card. Don't forget to let you know if you will be receiving lunch today. But now for tea, let's get back to Hadassah. Thank you, Jasmine. Students, this quarter's instructional software challenge will end on June 2nd. There is plenty of time to complete those lessons, so keep accomplishing them. I believe in you guys. Check the flyer for the requirements. Patriots, please don't forget our cell phone policies. It is important to make sure your phone is shut down and in your backpacks at all times. And also, don't forget you are not allowed to chew gum in school. Make sure to spit it out before entering the building. Tomorrow at 6 p.m., our Performing Arts Department will be presenting the Spring Music Concert. It is $5 cash at the door per person. All funds will go towards the Music Department, so make sure to come and show some support. Calling all 8th graders. 8th grade prom will be held on May 25th. I hope you have a great time. Pre-sales for the yearbook are now on sale on My School Bucks for $45 and are available now. Make sure to order yours. Students, remember the Patriot Store is open every morning. Tomorrow, it's the third and fourth graders' turn to go, so make sure to bring your tickets. Now let's see what the weather looks like today with Jaceleen. Thanks, Harasa. Hey, Patriots. Today's weather is looking like a rainy 90 degrees Fahrenheit with scattered thunderstorms. In other weather news, have you ever seen a fire light up inside a tree? When you say it out loud, it sounds kind of crazy, but there's a pretty simple explanation to why this happens. Lightning is almost five times hotter than the sun, so a hole is created straight through the middle when striked. Its core catches on fire because most trees contain sap on the inside, which is a great conductor of electricity. It's also easy to catch on fire because the core of a tree is going to be much drier than the outside of the tree during the lightning storm. Did you know this was possible? We learn something new every day. Now let's go to our mail for birthdays. Thank you, Jace Lane. Today, birthday boys and girls are... Messiah Forbes, and Nicole Preciado. Happy birthday! Now let's go back to Adasa. Patriots, here are Pat's expectations. It represents, present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, 
treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Ms. Marcos, Mr. Free, Ms. Manon, Ms. Arnold, Ms. Sands, Ms. Stone, and Ms. Cavalita. You all got the correct answer to Friday's daily challenge, which was, what country does this flag belong to? The correct answer was Belgium. And now for today's daily challenge. Daily Challenge. In one of the most popular Dr. Seuss books, what won't Sam I am eat? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answers to be reviewed. Winners will be announced in the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a marvelous Monday. And remember, here at Pines, we're going to renew excellence and education. Have a great day!